Hi, I'm Haz, and I'm going to tell you a little story while you watch this painting that I did. This is the story of Blodewedd. A long time ago, in a galaxy far far in Wales, there lived a prince named Lle Llaugafes. Now poor little Lle had been cursed as an infant, so that he may never marry a woman from the mortal realm. He got more and more gutted about it as he got older, because he just wanted a wife. He was lonely. Clay was very close with his uncle Gwydion, who happens to be a wizard, and one day he was confiding in him that he was feeling pretty lonely and getting rather fed up of it. And Gwydion was like, you know what? I'm a wizard. I'm going to do something to help. And he took the flowers of oak, broom and meadow sweet, did some magic-y stuff, and he created a woman for Clay's bride. She was the most beautiful woman Clay had ever seen. He was like, a boing, like cartoon glasses in love with her. And they got married and moved into his cantrev. A cantrev is like a, a domain, like I don't know if it's a county or smaller, it's just like an area that he was like lord of. Now Clay would travel a lot for work, I don't know why, but he would. And Blodewedd got more and more bored as time went on. One day, a handsome stranger walked through the cantrev and Blodewedd was like, a boing, let's invite him in. The man introduced himself as Gronu Perber and he and Blodewedd fell instantly in love, which sort of sucks for Clay, but also she never asked to be created as his wife, so I get it. Gronu stayed the night with Blodewedd and the two planned how they might be together. The only way they could think of was if her husband Clay was to die, but Blodewedd happened to know that Clay could not be killed by any normal means for some reason. So she was like, okay, He's coming home soon, I'll ask him about how he can die, then I'll let you know, and then you can come and kill him. And Gronu was like, okay, deal, and he left. So when Clay returned home, Blodewedd was like, hi honey, how was your day, how was your trip, hope you're okay, how can you die? And he was like, oh, don't worry about it, it's not gonna happen, it's so unlikely, you just have nothing to worry about, okay? And she's like, oh, but I'd really like to know anyway though, please. So he was like, Okay, anything for my loving wife. And he told her the only way he can be killed is by a spear that's been forged for a year while everyone's in mass on a Sunday. But it has to hit him in the back. But he has to be standing with one foot on the edge of a tub and one foot on the back of a goat. But he needs to be underneath a thatched roof. But it also has to be on the bank of a river. So Blodewedd is like, mm hmm, mm hmm, okay, that's pretty unlikely, but thanks for telling me anyway. So Blodewedd sent word to Grano and he immediately went about forging the special spear. The rest was left up to Blodewedd to arrange and they were like, okay, this'll take a year, so we'll meet in a year and a day at this river. So on the arranged day, Blodewedd was like, oh, Clay, let's go for a little picnic by the river. Oh, and while we're here, please, could you tell me how you could die again? <laughs> so he told her again about the bathtub and the goat and the thatched roof and the river and the spear. And she was like, I feel like I'll really understand it better if you show me. Luckily, I've brought a goat and a tub and a thatched roof, so could you just... So Clay was like, oh my worrisome wife, I'll put your mind at ease. Look how unlikely this whole scenario is. And he got up and put one foot on the goat, one foot on the tub. Why isn't that a phrase? One foot on the goat. So he put one foot on the goat, one foot on the tub and stood under the thatched roof like, look, I'm not gonna die. And then Gronu threw a spear in his back. The spear hit Clay, but didn't pierce him fully. And he transformed into an eagle and flew off. Blodewedd and Granu counted this as a win. They were like, Clay's gone, don't know what that bird thing was about, but let's go home to our cantrev. When Clay's uncle Gwydion found out that Clay was missing, he was tamping and he was like, I'm not gonna rest until I find him. One day when he was out searching, he noticed that there were a lot of pigs running in a certain direction and he was like, hmm, and he thought he'd go check it out. He soon reached a tree, at the base of which all the pigs had gathered and were eating something that smelled really rancid. Gwydion looked up and he saw a half-rotten eagle sitting sadly on a branch, and every now and then feathers and gross flesh and stuff would fall off it and that's what the pigs were eating because they haven't got standards. So Gwydion was like, this must be my nephew Clay, and he tried to coax him down from the tree. Clay wouldn't come down until he was sung three beautiful magical englins, which is like a verse. And after the third englin, he came down and Gwydion transformed him back into his nephew. As soon as Clay was human again, he squealed on Blodewedd, which I only say like that because obviously he was surrounded by pigs and I had to say that word. So he told Gwydion exactly what they did and Gwydion was like, they're not gonna get away with this and they went back to the cantrev together. When Gronu and Blodewedd found out that Clay and Gwydion were on their way, 
they made a run for it, but they didn't get far. Clay caught up with Grano and killed them. Gwydion caught up with Bodewez and he was like, I'm not gonna kill you. Death is too good for you, which is a pretty sick burn when you think about it. He was like, no, I'm gonna turn you into a bird that no other birds like and that can't see daylight because you should live in darkness forever, my friend. So he turned it into an owl and I learnt from this story that apparently other birds don't like owls. I hope you enjoyed this little story. For more stuff like this, follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube, both of which are HasJohnArt, because I'm very inventive with what to name my accounts. Um, ba ba da ba, he was very close with his uncle.